Hello everyone, this is Debbie, and I'm here today to share with you my new mini that I have just completed using the Prima Tales of You and Me, and this is from Frank Garcia. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paper collection. Now, this paper collection, I do believe I've heard, is no longer available. But I will tell you that I have gone to my Hobby Lobby the last four weeks. And every time I've gone in there, there has been one available to purchase. So I don't know if they just put out one at a time. They're trying to conserve them. I do not know. But anyway, give it a try. Try your Hobby Lobby and see if they have it. Um, well worth um, looking for for sure. So anyway, my mini is an eight and a half by eight and a half. And on the front, I have put a resin frame. This frame used to be silver. I did paint it with a um, Ecru acrylic paint. I also added some small pearls on here, some more over here on the edges. I also added this absolutely adorable cherub. I think you guys can see it there right there and I have used some Prima flowers these are Primas here and then wild orchid crafts um, flowers right here I don't know where I got these cute little purple flowers I've had them forever in my stash but I really liked how they looked with this particular paper collection and then as well right over here tucked in behind this rose right here there is a little metal um, butterfly used to be a pewter type color. I did um, distress it with a little bit of gold um, alcohol inks. Also, I've used a die here on the edge, and that is a heartfelt creation die. I'll show you that here in just a little bit when I get to another die that I've used on that in that same package. And then as well, I've added a little ecru strip here and then a black um, binding onto my, um, onto my uh, spine area here. And the back is done the same way. I added these darling little, um, in the middle of those flowers, some little pearls. I think you can see that. Oh, there I am. Now I'm in frame. Okay, and then as well, on the front, I've used a little different closure here. I used the closure that I got at Joann's in uh, the button section. And it's um, a hook and eye type right here really pretty and decorative and that one also used to be pewter um, as well or a pewter tone to it and I um, distressed that with some of the alcohol ink again and then I added uh, some flat back pearls on there as well okay and then on my spine here I have um, a bow about a one and a half inch um, pink ribbon added a really pretty little button on here took off the shank off the back and then I um, added uh, the strand of pearls and then on the spine I have a chain where I've added some really pretty little delicate pink beads there's a little mirror and a shoe and over on the side a folded up parasol okay so there's that and then, um, like I said, with the closure, it is a hook and eye type right here. When that comes undone, you'll see on here there's a, a key and a lock. I added those same pretty little pearl or beads on there. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up the book and make sure that I'm in frame here. And I believe that should be good. All right, that looks great. Okay, so down over here on this lower pocket here, I've added a die, and that is a Heartfelt Creations die. It's called Regal Borders and Pockets. Just got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago, and I could not wait to use it, so here it is. HCD1-779. Love, love, love this die. One thing that I do like about it, because there's such a delicate die, is that they do have the outer die pieces here, so you could do a solid piece if you you wanted to put that on top of another paper just to keep it a little bit more protected. I did not do that in this particular book, but I will definitely be trying that soon. 
So anyway, there's that die. So I did add it here and I did add some pearls to it just to bring that pearl theme through my piece. I did add lace here and on top of the lace I have pearls, flat back pearls there too. I don't know if you can see those, but there they are. And then from Hobby Lobby, um, added a charm, a little pearl charm on there. Oh, righty, very good. So right here, you take out of this pocket a little booklet. Really pretty. I mean, they're papers. Those papers are so gorgeous. And you open it up to a couple of photo mats here. Yeah, put one on the back too if you wanted to and then on the cut apart page um, a mat and it says tales of us here I've used another die um, from heartfelt creations and oh where is it here it is it's called the ornate borders and pockets die right here and the number is HCD1-780 really really pretty and they have that done the exact same way where you can do a solid piece on the back to overlay, um, to put the other pieces over the top. Okay, so it's just so pretty and so delicate. I loved it. And then added some more of the Wild Orchid Craft Rose on there with some ribbon. Oh, and some pearls. This is a little die cut piece that was like a scrap from another die that I used, and I thought it was so pretty, I went ahead and kept it and put it on there. thought that was kind of cute and clever. And there we go, and then um, a six by six um, photo mat with a journaling on the back. And here, I did fussy cut this piece right here from the paper collection, and then added some stickles on the back just to give it some dimension and bling. Okay, those go back in here. And then on the next page, I have a pullout, and uh, this comes up here, and did that same dime, and I backed it. I did, uh, I cut two of them, and then I glued them together to back them to give them some more stability, but you have a lot of really, let me pull it out so I can show you how delicate it is. Here it is, right here. On here, there's all of these little delicate little pieces here and here, and when they're doubled, it really makes it a lot more sturdy. Then I went ahead and I added the pearls to this piece. And then again, Wild Orchid Craft flower here. This is a brad that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then another one of those um, uh, little pearl charms right there. So then um, on the inside, you have two very nice large mats for photos. And then on the pocket, uh, the same thing, pearls. I did the lace with some more of the uh, small flat back pearls on the lace and then another six by six photo mat. Okay, and that just slips right back down here in this side pocket. And it's very hard to do it at this angle, but there it is, right there. That just goes right down in there. Okay, now on this page right here, um, it's another Heartfelt Creations die, and I think I've used this in another one of my projects. Maybe that was my Fairy Garden album, I think. But anyway, it's this one right here, and it's called Decorative Chateau Gate, and the number is HCD-718. Really pretty. So what that is, it's on a tag here. Let me pull out that tag, and it's, it's right here. So I put another one of the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers, a bow underneath there, and then these are brads. The little handles for the shutters are brads. So anyway, we open that up right here, and you can see this darling little girl right here. She's looking at a butterfly down over here, but it is so cute. Added a little bit of lace here. So cute, but I um, realized that some people may not want to keep that photo in there and want a personal photo, so I did make this pull out here. There she is, that cute little girl. She's so adorable. So anyway, you could put a photo here, and then even on the back if you want to put a photo on the back. So that just slips right down um, in there. Oops, there we go. That goes right in there. And when I attached it so that I had more room for my photo piece, I just glued where the um, 
the, where the um, elegant die, die cut is here and glued that down so all of this is open here. And then added some more of the pearls, flat back pearls on there. Thought that was real sweet. So anyway, that goes back down into the pocket. And then I tried really, really hard to make sure that I cut my paper for the tag where it matched up with the um, paper that was back behind it. Really doesn't matter. I guess I'm kind of picky that way sometimes. So anyway, right here, I've also used another Heartfelt Creations die. I wanted to really stick to the Heartfelt Creations die on this one. But I used the Fleur Borders and Pockets. This is so pretty. Um, HCD1-778. And like I was telling you, there is this one die that's down here. That's the one that I used on the front and back cover that was peeking out. Yeah, I had it this way, peeking out here right there I just thought it added just a little bit I wanted to get that black in there to um, it really make everything pop so anyway really really pretty die but this is the one that I used for this page and I cut two of them so obviously this one I had to flip but when you do um, die cut that piece it causes these little flowers right here to be um, you know to stick out a little bit more so when I cut the one for the other side I flipped it over I just embossed these flowers and the leaves too so that they stood up on this side instead of sinking down in if that makes sense well anyway you guys will see when you when you do that but you can cut two pockets and they do look identical they're beautiful beautiful right there and then added the wild orchid craft rose here and then of course the pearls um, I wanted to really stick um, with the pearls in this particular book okay so that goes there and then on the inside I pull out um, another booklet here and this booklet will accommodate a photo here and then you have a nice little journaling spot here and I fussy cut these little flowers from the paper collection and suck those on there Okay, and then another 6x6 six six photo mat. Okay, and then on the next page, I have another um, bottom pocket. I love pockets because it gives so many um, options of uh, tucking things into it. So, um, so I do a lot of pockets in my books. And then here I have, um, this is a cut apart here from the paper collection. And then I use a spelled binders die um, to, to cut this, this center piece right here and then backed it in black. Okay, and you open it up and then it gives you the two um, photo mat options there. Another one on the back if you want. Okay, and then, oh yeah, and then the six by six. By, um, six um, photo mat and journaling spot. Okay, and that gets tucked right back down in there. And then I have here I have a side pocket, and what I did is I tried to line up the two die cut pieces. This one is adhered to the pocket piece, and this one right here is a mat that pulls out. And um, here again, I've, I've added um, the pearls up on here and then two photo mats here. And then two, another one of the cut aparts here. Simple things is what it says. I just love those flowers. thought they were so pretty. And a journaling spot on the back. And then again, we have another um, six by six photo mat with journaling spot on the back. A lot of journaling on there. Okay, and then these get all tucked back in, and then that goes there to line up with that piece. Okay, then on the next page, I actually did the same idea as I did right here, but I did cut it in one continuous piece. This is would not be two different pieces. They're all in one piece, and I lined them up on there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer so maybe you can see how that is loved how that looked. I think that would be really pretty on the front of a card. And then I love that image of, of this, this lady up here. I wanted to make sure that when I did my tags and that, I did not want to interfere with, with that. 
So all of my, my tags were down below on that piece. So these come out. And then I have um, this photo mat. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those roses. So pretty. And then um, another mat on the back postcard on there. That goes in there. And then, um, and then another nice mat, photo mat here. Oops. It's a glare coming in my window. There we go. Okay, now on this page right here, again, like I said, I was trying to really um, do the um, heartfelt creations. And this is one that I bought probably, oh goodness, I think I got this a couple of years ago. But the first time I've ever put it in one of my minis. And it is called Decorative Leafy Frame. Is what it is. And it, it is HCD-731. Um, I... Um, it's all open in here. You have all this open area in there, and it's so pretty. I chose this particular paper to put underneath. And what I did is where the cutout is here, the circle cutout, I isolated a rose on here that I really, really liked and made sure that that was in the center of that frame. So, and I put an acetate over this because I wanted to really protect the, um, the real delicate area like on the side pockets that I did on the other page. So I really wanted to protect those, but this right here pulls out and then I've marked the center area here where a photo could be placed if they wanted to. And, but see, look at all that beautiful open um, area on here. You can see the green paper underneath. I thought it was so pretty. So what I've done is I have glued down um, these leaves very delicately onto the acetate underneath this. I see the, this one right here I need to glue down just a little bit more as so I want to make sure that's all, all protected there. And then this right here just gets slipped right back down in there. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. And it's a really tight fit. I want to make sure that none of that green showed. So anyway, that gets tucked in there. And um, anyway, I thought that was kind of a really pretty page. So this right here opens up. And then on the inside, we have two pockets. And those pockets have a couple of mats in each of them. And there's that one. And there. And a photo even could be put you know, glued on the base there, that, that would be that would be nice too. Then you would have options for more photos in this one piece. And then these come out too, I think. There we go. And um, it says our stories. This is from the four by six um map book. I I don't know, but anyway, they they have a four by six um paper pack and that that's what this one came from. And then Tales of Us on there. Oh. Okay, those get tucked back in there, and I'll tie that a little bit later on. And then here I tried something a little different. It's a belly band, and I wanted to do something a little different with it. So what I did is on this band part, I um, kind of fan folded it, and I made two pockets. And those pockets accommodate, the top one accommodates this mat, and then the bottom one pocket accommodates another mat. And then this six six by six mat just goes behind like the whole whole entire thing. So there's that. And then I put these little pearls down here so that things would stay up and still be a decorative element. So this gets tucked into that pocket so you can see it doesn't go all the way through. And then this right here, there's a pocket down below, if I can find out where that pocket is, there it is. And that gets stuck right there too. I did originally want the band to go up and down, but um, my books are so big and bulky that it interfered with the um, mat coming out this way. So I had to put it, uh, put the, the band horizontally down there. Okay, so on this page right here again, I have that same die, some lace, and a strand of pearls here, some more flat back pearls. Here I've put on another, added another one of those brads with, with one of the pearl charms there and a ribbon bow. 
this opens up and I use a lot of magnets in here. I think I have probably 10 sets of magnets in this particular book and they are basic gray magnets. Love those things. They're nice and thin and um, they hold really, really well through a lot of um, layers. And here we have another 6x6 six six, and there's another one on the back. So that goes in there and um, it's a nice pocket in here. Oh, it can hold a lot of photos and whatever else. This is an envelope that has a circle piece for that one map that I showed you, the, the acetate um, piece in there. So they could use that for a template to uh, center their, their picture on there. So anyway, guys, that is my new um, mini album. There's the back again. Um, you know, it has the, I, I added uh, the flat back pearls on here and that. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. And I like to add a little um, um, mat on the back. This one says, handmade because you're worth it. So anyway, guys, there it is. That is my new mini from Prima using the um, Prima Tales of You and Me by Frank Garcia. Um, see if you guys can find some of this paper at your Hobby Lobby. I mean, it is well worth um, looking for. It's such a gorgeous um, paper collection. I think I have four already, and I'm hoping to pick up some more. I have a lot of projects in mind for them. So anyway, guys, um, you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.